We're joined now by Michigan Tech. We have head coach Mel Pearson, along with Gavin Gould and Jake Lucini. As a reminder, the Michigan Tech locker room will remain open for approximately the next 25 minutes. Our format today, as always, an opening comment from coach. Then we'll ask you to direct your player your uh, questions to the players. We'll ask them to then head back to the locker room and then conclude with questions for coach. We do have a uh, microphone, so if you could raise your hand. Uh, give me your name and your affiliation, and we'll get that microphone to you. But first of all, opening statement from Coach Pearson. Coach? Well, I just want to congratulate Denver. Um, they've, they've got a very good team. Um, you can see why they're a Frozen Four team last year. They play with a lot of pace, a lot of energy, a lot of quickness, very talented. Um, well, obviously, we didn't get off to the start we, we wanted. I think everything that could have went wrong went wrong. We lost our... Uh, Best penalty killer, uh, the first uh, 30 seconds of the game, Mike Neville. And uh, right from that point, it just seemed like things got away from us. Uh, we couldn't kill a penalty. And then obviously, that third goal is a backbreaker, just a, just a, you know, an unforced uh, error and, and a tough goal. So, uh, but I give our, our guys a lot of credit. You know, we lost two forwards in November, two of our better players. They were out for the year. And then when we lost Neville, it's really hard to overcome that and play against a team like Denver with all the talent they have. But I, I give our guys a lot of credit. You know, a lot of teams just could have thrown in the towel there. But uh, these guys have worked hard all year. Uh, they hung in there. We tried to make it a game. I, I thought we had a couple opportunities to get to 5-3, and, and we did. But uh, uh, like I said, the guys in that locker room are champions, and uh, uh, we just needed a better start against a real good team like Denver. Question for the student athletes. Here in the front. Dave Verkarnowski, Daily Mining Gazette. Jake, what was that first period like? You know, what was it that they were doing that was just so effective? Um, you know, I think they're, well, obviously they're a very good uh, hockey team. Um, I thought they just pressured us pretty hard. Um, I don't think we played a team like that um, for a long time. Um, but yeah, they just came at us hard, a few tough breaks. Um, you know, we got into some penalty trouble. And, um, and then, like Coach said, the third goal was kind of a dagger. but. Um, yeah, they're, I feel like they're going to go far in this tournament. They're a really good team, but uh, yeah, we just needed a better start, I think. Uh, Gavin, uh, it's not the result you want, but uh, for you personally, you've had a nice little run here in the playoffs for the Huskies with uh, six goals in seven games. Talk about your goal and uh, you know what's working. What worked for you guys? What worked for you specifically at the end of the year? Uh, I mean, for that that goal tonight, I guess. Uh, we finally got a, got a penalty, uh, a power play, sorry. And uh, we knew we had to capitalize, so we were trying to bear down as much uh, as we could. And um, just a great play by Tranky. And then just the success throughout the playoffs, I think, was just um, you got to bring your game level up. And I think it was just working hard. And you know everybody around me was playing top notch, and it just helped me out. Uh, Jake, on, on your goal, you know, it's, it's late in the period, face off in the offensive zone, maybe nothing happens out of that, but how important was it to get a goal and you know, going to the locker room feeling a little bit better about things heading into the third period? Yeah, I think it was huge. Um, obviously, when you, you're down 5-1, you need to start something or somewhere. Um, and then just to get that goal, I think it was good for our team. Um, I think we, we had the attitude going into the third period that we needed, um, but we just kind of need to, needed to execute. Um, and it's not that we didn't play bad in the third period, but we just didn't get the bounces or we couldn't, we couldn't put the puck in the net. Questions from anyone else, and then we'll see if we come back to you. Anyone else? Go ahead, sir. Uh, guys, as freshmen and sophomores, you, you two have an opportunity to keep coming back to this tournament. What does that mean to you to have the opportunity to play as a freshman and a sophomore and get that opportunity to get some experience? Uh, it means a lot. I know. Uh, with our older guys on this team. Uh, their experience has helped us all this way. So it's really nice to have that experience, you know, calm the nerves. Uh, it really builds you as a player. Um, yeah, like Gavin said, the older guys kind of guided us through this. Um, the juniors and seniors have obviously been here before. But um, for me, not getting here last year, um, was it was really close for our team. And I think that had a, a it played a role in where, where we got this year. Um, and then hopefully next year we can take another step forward and, and um, you know, maybe make it to the Frozen Four. Other questions for our players? Anything else? All right. Thank you. Head back to your locker room. Good job. 
Questions for Coach Pearson? Uh, up here in front. Uh, Coach, obviously not the first period you're looking for. Uh, talk about what they were doing well in that first period that got you guys off your game. Well, we took a penalty three minutes in, and then we took another one seven minutes in, another one 11 minutes. You just can't do that against a good team. And we lost our best penalty killer, Mike Neville, and Reed Sterles have been excellent for us. I think we were fifth in the country in penalty killing, and, and we lost them, and, or we lost him. So once we lost him, we, ju we just, we didn't do very well. I, I think, you know, the experience of a team like Denver, they're, they're a very, very good team. They might be the best team in the country, obviously ranked number one. I, I haven't seen a better team. Uh, we played some good teams this year, but they're really good. Well coached, they play hard, but you know, we, you just can't take penalties early. You can't give up the goals we did early. You can't give up that third goal. It's just everything that could have went wrong almost went wrong for us in the first, uh, you know, 15 minutes of the period. And you know, you're behind and it's, it's a huge uh, mountain to climb. We had to play the perfect game against a team like Denver. And we were, you know, far from that, especially the first period. Uh, talk about in that second period, just trying to get your legs back underneath you and get back to playing Michigan Tech hockey. Well, I thought our guys did a pretty good job. You know, we, we created a few more. Jake Jackson walks in a breakaway. Uh, I mean, Gillette makes a great save on that. And, and we, we just couldn't get the goal or the sustained momentum we needed, you know, back-to-back -back shifts. And that, that's their team, though. They don't give you much. You know, they, they, they're skilled and they move the puck quick. The, the, the biggest thing with them is the quickness. I think the quickness really caught us off guard more than anything. Uh, not so much the speed or, or anything else, but just they're, they're very quick. And, uh, you know, we, we are a step behind uh, for most of the night. But, you know, like I said, I give our guys a ton of credit. They, they played hard. You know, they, they, they hung in there and tried to make a game. If we could have got, you know, we wanted to try and get one that first five or ten minutes of the third period to, to try to put some more pressure on them, but we just couldn't. Angus makes that mistake on the third yeah. goal. Uh, talk about his play after that, because other than the, the goal by Butcher, it didn't seem like many of the other things were easy. He, he played pretty tough from there. Well, he did. He makes some great saves. But even the fourth goal, you know, we, we lose a face off. The guy just is shooting it wide. It goes off one of our players and in the net. Like, like I said, just, just nothing, nothing went right. But they played hard. They came after us. And I thought Angus did a real good job of collecting himself. But those are big goals. You cannot give up those goals to really good teams. They're so hard to get goals back. You know, they're the top defensive team in the country. You can't give them anything. And I just thought we gave them too much tonight. And, you know, I'm proud of our team. They, they play hard, but we got beat by the better team tonight.